I'm six foot six. Where are my big guys? Six two or taller? Clap if you're six foot taller. Thank you, sir. Down front. Because we never got to do that when we were kids, did we? <laughs> Tall guy tries to sit in front at school. Yeah, get in the back. But I can't see the board. You're just going to play sports. You don't need to read. <laughs> and we don't turn pro, and it's just a life of not fitting anywhere, isn't it? <laughs> So on the flip side, where are my little tiny women? Five, three or shorter, little tiny things. Where are you? Yeah. Lila, all of them down front. No shame. <laughs> How tall are you, ma'am? Five, three. Five, three. And you say, it, you say it with pride. I like that. You know why? Because short women are always cool with being short. Short men are not always cool with being short. <laughs> no, no. It isn't your fault, short guys. I don't blame you. We treat you differently as a society. You meet a little tiny woman, you think, yeah, that's kind of hot. You meet a little tiny man, you think, he's going to start a fight. <laughs> Anyone have that friend growing up? <laughs> yeah, keep your eye on Napoleon, that's his second beer. <laughs> He's gonna start something, we gotta finish. <laughs> you ever do this one in the passenger seat of a car? Put your feet up on the dashboard and take a nap? Yeah, there were other people answering for you, by the way. They're short women. <laughs> it's such a, you know, that's a pipe dream for me and these guys. We've never... You know, you gotta realize short women, when you're looking comfortable, you're showing off to people, and it's really rude. We would knee ourselves in the forehead if we even tried that. Because anytime your feet are up and you're sleeping comfortably in a car and there's a tall person driving, all we're thinking is, yeah, I hope the airbag goes off. <laughs> I love when people want to talk about it, too. When you're tall, people want to talk about it, don't they? Which would be fine, but they use a voice like they're telling me something I didn't know about myself till they showed up. I love that one. Wow, you're tall. Just once, I want to go, oh my God, you're right. I got to quit sleeping in. When did that happen? It did happen to me fast, though. It was a bad growth spurt. Did you grow pretty gradually, or did you have one or two years where you shot up like a weed? Yeah, one or two years, yeah. I went from five foot five to six foot two in one year. Last year. Good, night. <laughs> Good Lord. My 40s, how awful. No, you know what year most boys get all their height? Is this year. <laughs> your, your voice is crazy. You're already embarrassed and humiliated. And then Mother Nature says, hey, let's put that voice up above so everybody can hear it. <laughs> And people think they're helping you. Now you should play basketball. <laughs> yeah. Right after I learn how to walk again. Let's start there. Okay? <laughs> I don't like that basketball stereotype because six foot six is tall in life, but it's not tall on the basketball court. It isn't. I would still be a guard in the NBA if they didn't have that talent rule. <laughs> See, so with tall people, we don't band together nearly enough. Overweight people are good at that. Fat people show up someplace and, they're, and the seats or whatever doesn't fit them, they get together and they sue. <laughs> Tall people, we never do that. I can prove to you that we never do that. Ceiling fans are still legal. <laughs> if you're like me and these guys, those are medieval torture devices. <laughs> if you had fat people in your house, you would never think to put helicopter blades in the doorway. <laughs> Look at some of you groaning and thinking about it. All right, let's see how bad Aunt Ruth wants this cake. No, I'm not being mean. I'm thinking about her diabetes. You can make it through the door. You get skinny enough, you can have the cake. Favorite laugh of the night. I am loving that. No. Ladies. <laughs> Ladies, hear me now. Let it out, whatever it sounds like. Because you know what noise women make when they try to hold in a laugh? It's always the same one. <laughs> it's snort. Always some cute, tiny thing that snorts really loud. Oh, yeah, that was way less embarrassing than if you just would have laughed. A woman came up to me after a show once, after a snort, and she goes, doesn't it happen to men too? No. Because men hardly hold in a laugh, because when we hold in laughter, it turns into a fart every single time. Without fail. And not while we're here in this giant room with people we can blame it on either. It's a time release that'll hit in the car. 
you can tell the couples that have been together a long time. Because he'll go, <laughs> and she'll go, oh no, you didn't. You let that out here in public or you're sleeping alone. <laughs> you're coming on the road with me, that is amazing. <laughs> hey, did you know Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it now and you can watch my whole comedy special. And go ahead and leave those headphones off. Make everybody else around you watch it too.